Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today. Oh, and there's explosions going on. Oh my gosh. And this is a very, very close Siege Battle for you today. And yeah, look at that. That was a great explosive shot from the attackers there. I believe that was Macedon who is one of the attackers. Um, we have Macedon, Syracuse and Rome attacking today against two Pergamon armies and a Egyptian army defending. Um, so yeah, that actually did some pretty nice damage. Only getting six. It looked... It looked pretty epic, but it didn't actually get that many kills. Um, but yeah, this was sent in by a member of the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord to send in your own replays, then maybe feature on the channel, and then you can they'll maybe go up on uh, YouTube, and you'll be slightly YouTube famous. Um, then join the Discord down below, or if you just want to get involved in some battles with myself or some of the other guys that often play on the uh, Discord, then uh, also join for that exact same reason. Um, but yes, yeah, so we have... This uh, assault coming up straight away, it seems, by Rome. He's already got some bad units of legionary cohort. Interesting uh, choice in unit. I mean, they're a pretty strong unit, legionary cohort and Evercati. I don't know what the funds were. I presume not high since Astartia are also on the front lines. Um, we also have Macedon here. He's setting up his galleys. Um, or galleries. Are they galleys or galleries? I think galleries. Uh, he's got, like, uh, Thorax swords in here. And he's got more Thorax Swords on here. I've just realized they're described as very heavy melee. I would never describe Thorax Swords as ever me very melee. Ever very heavy melee. That's kind of a tongue twister there. But we managed it. But yes, we've got a massive Agema spear spam by both Pergamon armies. Um, so I'm expecting to see lots of javelins. And uh, not much else to be honest. That's all the And lots of squares actually. Agema spears can form square. So imagine that'll happen a lot. But it'll be interesting to see because they haven't brought many pikes. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see whether the attackers can use that as, to their advantage. I think we're on Ankyra, which is a pretty cool map. You've kind of got like this river crossing here. It's a shame that I don't think like they don't put the, like, the final defensive spot possibly on like the bridge here. Because you can't really defend that bridge very well. You can't set up on it. So it'd be kind of cool to have it like here or just in the water. Like maybe here because this is a river crossing. You could just put it, I think this is a river crossing or somewhere like here. Here possibly actually, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, where is the first engagement going to happen? It looks like maybe over here. I mean, we still got Masson battering down a hole here. He's finally actually made a breach in his wall. And he's killed a few more Gemma Spears while doing that. Looks like Syracuse and Rome are just going to set up to start with... Oh, we got some good bombardment here, though, on the Egyptian archers. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't bring more uh, Cretan archers. I mean, I guess uh, he could have brought Rodian slingers, but they are pretty useless in this scenario because there's no real walls to set up on. But if you've been enjoying the content at the moment and you're enjoying, uh, well, this battle has not really got underway yet. But if you enjoyed the battle, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment uh, to show your support. Um, we're getting close to 1,500 subs. So keep it up, guys, and uh, I'm sure we'll get there with all your support. If you haven't subbed already, what are you doing? Subscribe to see more epic battles like this. And here we go. The first engagement looks like it's about to begin. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's... I'm getting... Th I kept thinking that there was a... Uh, Syracuse, but it's not. Here is the first engagement. It's going to be Macedon and uh, one of the Pokemons here by the looks of it. I'm surprised. Yeah, here we go. Got some Javis going in and yeah, the Thorax Swords just going to have to go in or they get Javied a bit more. And here we go. Oh, he's actually going to fall back his Pokemon. Or is he forming his square formation? No, he's falling back. He's going to allow the next line. Look at this. This is like almost like a Napoleonic style. It's like one, one line, fall back. Second line, throw Javis. It's not fire, it's throw javies in this case. Uh, Mastodon's also made another breach here. And uh, he's going to send in, what is this? It's more hot, hot plates on the assault. Interesting choice. I would have just brought more thorax. If you could afford it, bring more thorax. Swords are going to be good uh, breaking through these lines, but not spears. And uh, yeah, these Agemas now are in combat with the thorax swords. Good to see. So yeah, that's going on now. Rome's taking his time still. Syracuse also taking his time. What's Syracuse brought? A lot of Thorax swords brought. Thorax hot plates. We don't have to see them. But that that's not a bad unit. I mean, he's brought hot plates himself again. I don't think bringing Thorax hot plates or hot plates is really the greatest of choices. Um, like and Thorax spears. Maybe they got Javis, but like the other two, like hot plates and Thorax hot plates. Spears and the assault isn't great. It's 
neither of these two units, uh, neither of these two factions are that strong in attacking, but it's a good choice for them, I guess, to bring. Seleucus is a good choice to bring. Got lots of swords there. So now Egypt sent this unit. I think this is a mistake here by Egypt because he's now obscure, uh, showing off his rear, and he's now going to get focused down in the back by what looks like uh, Bale Eric Singers. But here we go. Again, my spear is now going to get in the way, and they're going to kind of hold that line and just so he doesn't have to worry. But Thorax uh, swords there. Yeah, now getting out of there. Now they realise what's happened. But they were in behind of these Thorax uh, swords because they, they kind of ping-ponged off one unit into the next. And I don't know what's going on here. These Agema Spears are uh, out of, like, position. I, only a, half their units in combat. The other half's, like, over here. Edging its way forward. Only problem with Hellenic factions, you can barely tell. When they're fighting each other, you can barely tell who's who. So if you're looking, like, Mastodon's, like, the, uh, sort of, like, the purple and yellow. I guess it's, like, maroon and then... Uh, Pergamon's like purple and green and Egypt's I guess like light blue but they are actually give folks down to that unit of Thorax Pikes jeez got shield bearers in as well I've just realised by Mastodon that's a bold play look at this I've just realised I don't know what happened to this unit did he get it like focused down or something there's like a tiny unit oh it got burned it got like burned at the uh, by the gate and it's down to 13 men that's a big oof um, but there's all this cavalry here waiting to go through, but I think they haven't realized that there's caltrops here Or I hope they have realized that there's caltrops here. So if they went through that is gonna be devastating So that's gonna slow down the cavalry, but that is uh, that is an issue that they're gonna have to keep an eye on I mean they've just blobbed up this entire area here with squares. No way they're gonna get through that area It's like um, the British at Waterloo just form square that'll do the job will stop cavalry, I guess, but it won't stop uh, infantry, necessarily. Got uh, hot plates in here. Fighting against the Gemma Spears. I'm going to say the Gemma Spears will win this. Uh, mainly because they've got defenses on their side. And also, hot plates, I think, are just put, uh, the poorer than the Gemma Spears, just in money. And they're attacking. Spears attacking are never going to do as well as the defensive Spears. They're very bloodied up. Extremely bloodied up. And they're getting shot. What are they being shot by? Um, oh, archers. Of course, here, Pokemon can only bring basic archers. They're actually not even going to bother to destroy those Caltrops, I don't think. I think they ran over some of the traps here as well. They did. They lost a few more men. Being chipped away at our uh, defenders. Syracuse is now engaged on this far side as well. It's Rome that's... Actually, Rome's just about engaged as well. He's sent Hestadi in. I mean, this is Gemma Spear line is going to need to be uh, filled up with some more troops because that's 31 men holding back a lot of troops. Actually, I don't know if they really want to because Mastodon, they can't. Mastodon is very much in there. This unit here of a Gemma Spears is left to die on its own. Rip a Gemma Spears. They are, uh, yeah, getting ch chopped up by those Legion cohort and uh, Thorax swords. But already, they're looking like they're giving, they're giving up a lot of ground of the uh, defenders, like, early on. A lot of ground. The Gemma Spears now fighting against more hot plights. I think the hot plights will uh, lose here. Unless they send in some swords now. These hot plights are uh, not going to be long for the, this world. I don't know, it'll be close. I've never really seen hot plights go up against the Gemma Spears, but just going off price. And that Spears are just awful in attack. And they, like, they're probably throwing all their javis back here, like these guys. Who knows? What's happening in this next choke point then? Oh, there's actually this... Isn't actually a choke point yet. Oh, God, yeah, this is... Already, it's like code black. They're falling back archers already. They're getting focused down, in fairness. By all sorts. More uh, archers as well. All they're being focused down by. We've now got a Gemma Spears losing here. Gemma Spears are just losing everywhere. They're having a really tough time. If they can't beat Thorax Swords, they're not going to have a chance of beating the Romans with their Agama Spears. They're going to have to pull something like out of the, out of nowhere soon. What's that over here then? Oh no, this is... Oh, right. It's marked on the map in yellow, so I was thinking... And like they're in yellow on the outside, so I was wondering whether the allies... Or allies... The defenders have got something outside. I've been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron, so for some reason allies and Axis just came to mind. Axis and allies, a good board game. Lockdown has just sent me mad. Um, 
I don't know what's even to go what's going on. I'm just talking about random rubbish now. As more again and spears get sent in. But yeah, I mean e Egypt's got a lot of stuff. I mean it's got Crown and Axeman, jeez. And Egyptian infantry. Oh, there must have been low funds this. Um But I mean even still. Yeah, it must be. But they got like armor legionaries back here as Rome. And Praetorian Guard. So it can't be that low in funds. So Egypt's either decided to just really upgrade some stuff. Or he's just brought Karani and Axman for the jokes of it. I don't know. But he brought quite a few. He brought Egyptian infantry, which is just awful. And he's sending in some of his best stuff already. They're containing them here quite well. They actually have contained them very well here. They, oh, they flanked round. Very nice. I just saw that. So they got elephants here as well. General of Egypt is elephants. That's a big risk. But yeah, so they basically, those all those squares here went around here and flanked all those Thoros spears that just... Uh, well, they're here. This is all that's left of them. 49 men. Fighting back to back. And now they've given up, I think. Who knows? But uh, yeah, they're gone. Macedon's having a hard time. and actually is looking low on troops. I mean... Most of his troops are actually plugged up in this gap. This is just not a good idea. Uh, don't bother blobbing. Not at this stage, anyway, when everyone's got so much ammo left. Like, this is just not... I mean, it is working. He's broken this unit, but this one was already breaking a long time ago. Probably would have done with just the Thorax Swords in there. Uh, I mean, there's now Thorax Swords of Egypt in here as well, but I mean... Oh my gosh, they got cavalry all the way through. How did they manage that? So, they, so Masson got the same cavalry inside, and he's routed uh, archers that were in here. The Game of Spears, I like this. This looks very Napoleonic. Just like the cal form square cavalry just like outside. That is very cool. I'll give them that. That is... It's a cool formation. It's very anti-cavalry, but it's... Uh, it's allowing all these units just to walk by, and their uh, flank here is undone. This, this, these three units here are cut off. I mean, they could go for Syracuse's general. He's very deep in enemy lines. And Syracuse has still got a lot left. I mean, he's having a rough... I mean... He's having a rough time. He's still not done well here. These hot plates are getting beaten up. I'd definitely send this again a spear unit in to do something. Flank it in. Or is it just going to jabby? Is it just going to stand here and jabby? I think it is. We're going to get a volley here of jabbies, aren't we? No? Are they going to get as close as... No. Oh, come on. Oh, they're actually turning around for cavalry. Hippias Lancers. Oh, yeah, those Hippias Lancers, I guess they were going again after archers. They kind of, like, broke through. Kind of didn't. But, yeah, it's actually, it's... I think the defenders have turned it around. Rome needs to start do, pulling his weight a little bit more. He's got, like, most of the infantry that's going to break through his again with spears. I mean, this is just a mess down here. If they can break through this Macedon, then he can... He frees up a lot of his troops, but there's a lot. Just look back there. There is a lot of Agamemnon spears waiting, and archers. They, they've actually surrounded them. It's just—I don't even know what's left. It, this pushing this thorax sword back down here. This is another way through as well. So this is probably the area that they need to worry about most. If Rome sends some stuff in there, that will really turn the tide of the battle. Syracuse is having a pretty rough time. He's actually not got much left. This battle seems to be flying by. It uh, really is. Here we go, Thorax Swords, hold the line. And we've got to push the Romans in behind enemy lines. Just look at this Spec Op unit of, like, Romans. It's just chilling here, doing its thing. We've got more Spec Op units, like, back here. Because just a tiny unit of th uh, Thorax Hot Plates. Oh no, we've got another one here as well. But, I mean, yeah, and look at Syracuse, he's just... Don't mind me, just gonna just sneak on by. He's got Pell Tasks, an interesting choice. I mean, very nasty if used right. Um, I certainly, with those pelt still of ammo, fire into these again with spears, they're just going to happily stand here. But I presume they're out of ammo. They're going into combat. But yeah, these Glacian Royal Guard are actually losing in combat. So Thorax Hot Plights are also losing. Bizarre. Um, I may be time to set up some pikes if I was the attackers. You have that pike advantage, so it might help. Um... I don't even know if... Oh, no. Egypt did bring some. He brought some very elite pikes, actually. So he brought some Hellenic Royal Guard and some Thorax. This Roman unit needs to get moving as well. It's stuck here. And the Crying Axemen 
And uh, again, with Spears just using their ammo up. Which is a good thing that Crowny Naxman has as well. I think that has extra ammo, like more than the usual amount. I could be wrong. But they have actually cleared this up area nicely. They were fighting here for so long against Syracuse. This was the original line. And now they've pushed forward to here. Rome is now having to do a lot of work. He's got to, like, they've taken several steps back of the attackers. They're going to need the pikes in here now soon. I mean, they've got, Syracuse has got pikes here, but they already seem really beaten up. And they're breaking. I think the archers has been shooting them. Or Javis. Could be one or the other. And here we go, we've got uh, another unit of Egyptian Thorax swords coming in. I mean, there's not much left, I must admit. And that's surround, is that surrounding? I don't know. It's The line here is so weird. Like These Thoros spears here form square as well. It's just a weird formation what's going on here. But I think Rome, uh, I thought he's made some moves, but he hasn't. They've just sent up pikes. So hope of breaking through here anytime soon is not going to happen. But they are going to be able to unleash their jabbies. But this area here is now freed up. They've now plugged it with uh, pikes. And the general here is... Why did the Macedonian general think this was a viable idea? He charged his cavalry down here. It's an army of spears, man. And he's charged his cavalry, hoping that he's going to break through a spear line. And uh, and Javis as well. They've got like a million Javis of this army. Pergamon seems to be actually quite a good defensive army, if used correctly. Got so many Javis that you just uh, destroy people. Here we go. We've got a nice flank, a nice little gap here in the line that they're nearly getting through as Egypt. This Thorax Swords. And he's going to do it. He's going to commit. And there you go. He's in behind. I don't know what they've got left in reserves for swords, actually. Oh, they've got Praetorians. Send some Praetorians up. Or some uh, Armored Legionaries. I, I don't know. you got to just... There's not much here. If they can break through... They could do it. They could do it. Just need the discipline now of the legions. Quick stab of the gladius, and then back behind your shield. Yes. And then you'll br you'll break these again in no time. They actually look like they're giving some ground. I think it's because they've broken through here of these uh, Thoros spears. It's very close as this battle, extremely close. I think it could still go either way. I think. I think this side the defenders have got locked down with the pikes. Um. And I can't see any Macedonian pikes that have been brought to bear. I think the only pikes that were brought were by Syracuse, and I think they're all dead. I want to say they're all dead. Yeah, so I think that, like, pike advantage is gone. Real shame there. Yeah, so this is an ulcer pikes. This front line over here could go either way. Um, I think this is a fresh unit of thorax. That's why it's doing okay. Rome's got to just send up some more stuff. He's got to supplement a couple of units everywhere because he's got the best infantry. It's going to break through. And Rome's the only one that can break these Gamma Spears. Like, here he goes. He's, gonna, he's forced them back to their original start point again. Imagine if they'd, like, if he'd sent in troops earlier on. They'd have, uh, been in a much better position. But I guess Rome's played a good tactic because I think the defense will use up a lot of their ammo now. So these Roman legionaries can't really be focused down. I want to say that. I might not be right because I've not been keeping track of missiles because... Well, there's been a million and one of them because the Gemmas have been throwing in spear after spear, javelin after javelin. Look at this. They're sneaking around here. Are these uh, Thoros spears. Uh, that's a bit cheesy. Yeah, you can't really do this. This is a breakthrough. Pull through here. I mean, it sort of is and it sort of isn't. Shouldn't really be able to do this, but here we go. So we've got the Gemma spears coming up to clear these guys up. And that's what happens. This is what happens when you uh, pull through. You get punished because now you're in behind enemy lines and your fangs are equally as... Uh, vulnerable as the enemies so I'm kind of glad to see that was shut down uh, well, that looked a bit dubious to be honest over here with these gamma spears I would possibly push these are Thoros spears here and they've got tiny units of legion cohort I think your gamma's could definitely punch through here I don't know where the elephants are where is the Egypt oh the Egyptian elephants are back here as well might be time to start sending them up. They've not got many archers over here. You could start sending them up on this right flank and you could clear out a lot of stuff. A huge chain route from Rome. Oh my gosh. That's a unit over there of like... Oh no, that is 18. This one's pretty fresh still. But I mean, that was a huge chain route. That's four units gone. I'm sure Rome was devastated. I mean, these units were like tired, battered. 
That's a huge win for the defenders. They've still got they've got like another fresh line here. It's insane. They've got rid of one uh, Pokemon army, army, but there's still another one to go. Here we go. The general for the uh, I think this is the only unit left for one of the Pokemon armies. It's just his general. Very useful still to have though. He'll pop rallies and stuff. He, he's could be, be a good team player. Keep him alive. But he's going to go in. Don't give the Romans an inch. There's some another bit of fighting here. And they've won here. They have won here. So that is uh, that is interesting. So they push through here against Rome. But Rome has actually done the uh, same thing to them on this side. I think Rome's got to charge in. You see they've got a fullback behind this uh, bit here. To avoid all the Javis. Or he's got to go in and just stop them from throwing Javis. Now we've got Praetorians coming up. Along with armored legionaries. And then these crying axemen should get messed up. Even by this size of a legion cohort. Look at the comparison. You've got like scale armor against rags basically. Men in rags or just tunics really. Praetorians here ready. I think send them in. It's got to send them in. If you can really pressurize this uh, flank here now. They've actually won this flank, which I did think they would do. They had the pikes locking down this area. And Mastodon just sent his troops in happily, even even though there was pikes there. It's just a bit of a silly mistake. Um, should have just been patient like Rome's being right now. He's with the Syrians. He's focusing on these thorax pikes. Got them to 60 men, basically, at this point. This choke point here, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Got Egyptian infantry. That's how desperate. Oh my gosh, though. There's Egyptian infantry. Just got a load of kills. I don't know. Friendly and, like, uh, Roman, the Javis, they look so weird with their weird, like, tunics and, like, head helmets on. I guess it's a helmet, but it's more like a just a... don't even know what to just... How you describe that? It's just like a, like a turban thing? I don't know. But Rome is now pushing through here, and the Game of Spears are falling back. Whether that was a good idea, maybe they should have formed square, held the ground. Because a lot of them are going to get chopped down by the swords here. These Romans are surely going to be tired now. They've been fighting a long time. We've got Praetorians in here now. And they're getting through. I don't say that's a push through because there is a big gap there. So that one was okay. And they're now fighting Kryon and Axeman. They, but they're going to need to quickly... Uh, I don't know. They're going to need to quickly beat these uh, units here as Romans. To then pressure one of these flanks. And if they can do that, then they're in a good spot. But the elephants are still alive. Uh, balance of power is now in favor of the defenders. Um, I'd kind of say that's fair enough. The Romans need to send it. They've got Praetorians just stood here. There's a 90 unit of Praetorians. Get this unit mobilized. You could sneak it through here, surround these Agemas. And they're in real trouble then. But they're just allowing themselves to get shot by archers. Uh, it's been one of the problems of Rome and all the attackers. They've been a bit slow. They just allowed the, the defenders to get some really good volleys off on them. Um, we now got Romans here just focusing these guys down. We've still got the Hastati alive. I charge in. Like, you can get around the flanks here now. You've just... It's just like being observant uh, a bit. It's just part of the game. Just be observant. You can see that there's a flank round here. They're going to charge straight in on the pikes, and that's going to hurt a lot. There's still like 30 of them. Oh, 30, and they just charge straight in on them. That's not going to end well. Um, but yeah, so this will just end poorly. I mean, actually, they're winning decisively here, apparently, but I'm not really sure if that's true. Like, they're going to lose a lot of men. They could have just flanked round. And the cavalry's got round. That's huge. The, ca the sailing cavalry has got round. So they can go after the archers here. And they all have to. The elephants in. The elephants are in. It's great time for them to go in. Because there's no uh, archers left for the Romans, really. But if they have, they've used most of their ammo. So these elephants might be able to run free. And the elephants might need to go after that cavalry that's now chasing down archers. It's in here, in the bushes. Hiding in the bushes. These bushes which are nearly as tall or taller than humans. Well, I guess they're trees, possibly. They're small trees. And here we go. Elephants are charging in here. Praetorians apparently winning decisively. I do not believe it one second that you're winning decisively in this scenario. 
All you gotta hope is that Egypt loses his uh, general pretty soon, but he's not going to. The cat. Look at this. The Roman general's going in, hoping he's gonna do same. Oh, he's gonna snuck around. That's very well done. Going into the uh, archers back in. The archers actually rousing the Thessalians, I guess, maybe because the elephants are nearby. I'm not sure. But now here, here we go. So the Roman generals are going to be dealt a deadly blow by the uh, elephants and the Egyptian general. And yeah, he's look at him he's there in his gold tunic. He's trying to get out of here, but that's not going to end well. Oh gosh, getting thrown around as his cavalry by elephants. And yeah, there you go. He's wavering already. And I'm going to say that's probably. Uh, that's probably it. I mean, it is still very, very close to this battle. Uh, but I'd say with the elephants now being mobilized and so little stuff left, they've like got nothing left to stop them. Um, and this is like the last unit of... It's armored legionaries, and this is a fresh unit. It's actually facing pikes. Tiny unit of pikes and a medium unit of... Uh, again, so this might give them a bit of hope, but... I don't know. It's still so close, and there's a huge chain out here. That's not helping Rome. Losing his general especially, and he's got most of the units left, is not helping. I think Mastodon's still there. I'm surprised Syracuse went out first. I thought Mastodon was. He kind of was a bit... Uh, I don't know how... Foolish for some of his units, will say. He's flanking this unit hard. He needs to probably charge in a little bit more. I don't know. Not much they can do. Look at this. Praetorians running away. No, not the elephants, they're like, no, not the elephants again, anything, oh my gosh, the elephants are manning the wall, that is a that is a play to be fair, imagine getting off a siege tower and just seeing an elephant waiting for you on the wall, oh, now into the other one, and yeah, that's probably going to route these Praetorians, they've done a good job with those elephants, um, I don't think, they. I think they've probably got like maybe 200 kills, maybe, I don't think they've got more than that, I'd, I don't know. But here we go. Yeah, there's a massive retreat here. The Roman still has got his general alive. How he's still alive. But he's now routing. He must be dead now. I thought, the, yeah, the Roman general is usually the one in the uh, gold tunic. So I think he was dead. But yeah, it does look like Rome has basically finished it. I'm just going to fast forward now while we uh, go through the last stages of this. Just watch as they mop up stuff. What is left? It's just a companion cavalry over here. Like this companion cavalry could have been useful elsewhere. There was loads of choke points available for them, but they didn't use it. They've got archers left, but I mean, they're going to get chased down by elephants, which is just... They're actually exhausted. Jeez. Um, I'm surprised the elephants... The elephants just ignored them. They've left their archers to die. Oh, they're going to go for these. Ah, better target, I think. A better target. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. These elephants, man. Elephants again, like in the last Rome 2 battle that I did, uh, they did excellent. And then in this one, they've done excellent as well. They've just been routing stuff early on. I mean, in the other one, it was early on, they were doing a lot of work. And in this one, it's late game. Been routing everything. I would have finished routing these armored legions. Make sure they go. But he's pulling his elephants out and then getting the charge bonus again, I think, every single time. These Thoros Spears are actually pretty healthy. They had two units of fairly healthy troops for ages, just ch chilling, doing nothing. These elephants, man. Just chewing up units. They're going to waver and go. That's really it. Uh, that is actually insanely close to this battle. There's not many stuff left. Not, not much left on the battlefield. I didn't even realize this. They had a scorpion on this side the entire battle. I don't know how many kills it got. They had a scorpion there. That's not a bad position, actually. Can then just fire across the bank. And it's actually come down to four units. Uh, five, I guess, if you count the scorpion. Six, if you guess you count the ballista right there. But four units of melee. That was insanely close. But I think the, I think the defense had it for a long time. But uh, yeah, they're a costly victory. Well done. Um... Yeah, that was sent in by Aiden. Uh, I believe that sent that in. So, uh, well done to uh, him playing his Pokemon along with Grim Guardian and uh, Reese Power. All subs on the uh, channel and uh, members of the Discord. So, um, well done to them. Uh, let's have a look first. At, we'll have a look first at Grim's army. We've got. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they all did pretty well with these together spears. They all got like average like 100 kills. This one here with 219 is the best. His Scorpion actually did get 90 kills, and his Archer's got 187, which is not bad at all. 
Then we've got Reese Pato. He got 200 kills as expected with his uh, African Wall Offense. I didn't think he'd get more than that. His uh, Archers getting 149. That's not bad. I was about to say 104, but 149. Even better. Uh, Glacian Royal Guard, 213. His Pikes getting 222. Um, his other Pikes didn't do so well. And his Thorax Swords getting 116, which is not bad at all. His Crown Axemen, which don't mention. His Egyptian Infantry, again, don't mention. Then Aiden, who's playing his Pergamon as well. Um, his best unit... I don't know, probably 115 there again with Spears. Uh, and then his archer's got 96, which is okay. He kind of came off a lot worse. I think he took the initial brunt of the attack and then Grim Guardian kind of cleaned up. Um, but yeah, no surprise actually, Egypt got most of the, most of the kills. I think uh, Pokemon just threw a lot of jabbies and just hoped that lots happened. But anyway, Axa, who was playing as Syracuse, he uh, went out first for the attackers and yeah, he again didn't seem to get many great kills. 137 for Storax Hot Plights. Um, his pikes didn't do so well, and the other only unit that got over 100 was Thorax Swords 110. Oh, we've got some others down here, but Thoros Spears, again, not doing so well. Then we've got the Kaiser uh, Doggy, I don't know what the rest of his name is, I didn't check. But playing his Rome, uh, 212, that's not bad at all, with his Armored Legionnaires. Um, and he's got some Praetorian Guard down here with 201, and he had a Scorpion at 201 as well, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that Scorpion the entire battle. But uh, well done to him. He got the massively got the most kills for his uh, for the attackers. No surprise there. Trajano, who was playing as Macedon, 142 kills with his general. Um, his archers didn't do so well. His shield bearers actually got on the attack. I said spears were bad on the attack, but his spears got over 200 kills each, um, which is actually the majority of his kills. That's 400 out of his 1,500 kills. And then Thorax swords, 198. That's not bad at all. And that's kind of it. That's the only other units did pretty well. But I hope you guys enjoyed that battle. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until the next one, Legionnaires, bye for now.